Today we will be discussing the Backup and Restore Tenable Virtual Appliance to Tenable Core Migration. This migration can be used for Nessus, Nessus Network Monitor, and Tenable SC instances utilizing less than 250 gigabytes of disk space. This video will follow along with the documentation found in the description. As a note, if you are migrating Tenable SC, formerly Security Center, and Tenable Core does not have the same host name as the Tenable Virtual Appliance, you will need to generate a new license key with the new host name via the support portal or by reaching out to the Tenable support team. Prior to beginning the migration, you will need to have your Tenable Virtual Appliance as well as a Tenable Core stood up. Please make sure to read through the documentation to ensure that you meet the requirements for this type of migration. The first thing that you need to do is log in to your Tenable Virtual Appliance Administrator account and go to the Backup tab. Once you are here, you will take a backup of just the application that you are trying to migrate. You will not select Whole Appliance. You will instead choose the specific application, in this case, Security Center. You will then click Take a Backup. And then once that backup has completed, you will be able to download it. Once the backup has successfully completed, you'll be ready to download it and perform the restore and migration process in Tenable Core. Again, if you are migrating Tenable SC and the Tenable Core hostname does not match the Tenable appliance, you will need to create a new license key. Now that you have your Tenable Virtual Appliance backup, you will log in to Tenable Core. In this case, Tenable Core plus SC. In order to restore your backup, you will click on backup slash restore, choose your backup file, and hit open. At this point, you will want to verify that all the information on the screen is correct. You may receive a notification to upgrade or downgrade the Tenable Core application version to match that of the virtual appliance. If this occurs, please do so. In this case, we will just hit restore. Once the restoration has completed, your migration will be complete and you will need to complete any post-migration steps in the documentation. Note, when migrating Tenable SC, formerly Security Center, and Tenable Core does not have the same host name as the Tenable Virtual Appliance, you will need to generate a new key with the new host name via the support portal or by reaching out to the Tenable support team. If you receive any errors or have issues while performing the migration, please reach out to Tenable support so that they may assist you. Again, with Tenable SC, if you have changed the host name from the Tenable Virtual Appliance and the Tenable Core, you will need to reach out to receive your new license.